what's up everybody miss mo here welcome back to my channel um i am getting ready to attend the annual bay path women's leadership conference 2024 today is april 4th 2024 so if you want to stick around to see what's going on you know what is going on with the annual uh bay path women's leadership conference please keep on watching What's up, everybody? So, um, I parked at the park in the uh, MGM Casino parking uh, garage. We're going to the elevator now. <sighs> I had like a wardrobe malfunction slightly. I had to change my foot gear. Thank you so much. Everybody wants the riches, the riches. Ooh. All right. So, hey everybody. <laughs> Had to, uh, you know, pause for a second because there was music in the elevator. Oh my god! I don't forgot where I. <laughs> oh man, I was supposed to shoot. I was supposed to take a picture of where I freaking parked. I think I parked on the third level. Oh, oh, that's another thing I got to freaking worry about. Oh my God, that's the worst. Well, I'll be good. I'll find it. I think it's on the third level. Anyway. Today in the 413, it is a freaking mess with the weather. I am walking to uh, the Mass Mutual Center. That's where it's going to be. The uh, annual Bay Path Women's Leadership Conference. I am so freaking excited. Got an invite uh, from my job. President and CEO invited me. Thank you, Tanya. <laughs> uh, uh, freaking truck. But yeah, it is raining, icing, slushy. Oh, let's not forget the cold. I hope you can hear me with, uh, from all the wind. But let me. Let me concentrate on where I'm walking to. <laughs> and I'll pick you guys back up when I can. Bye. Everybody wants the riching, the riching. Stone earrings popping off, just some simple bling, you know, foot gear. We have the chuck sailors at the bottom because you know today was kind of like messy. And so, to top off the whole look, we have a boom and a bow. Get into it, it's a look, it's a thing, and you know, it's a vibe. But, all right, that's it. Yes, my last name. Okay. What's your last, last name? name. Good morning. Good morning. Last um, name. Thank you. Thank you. How are you? Here we go. Hey. Here we go. Thank you. 
on the name tag. Everybody wants the riches, the riches. We are here, we are here, I'm here with my co-workers, well, some of them anyway. So we are just waiting for the, um, waiting for the event to start and begin. They're supposed to start promptly. Well, what time is it? Because, oh, let's say almost 8.35. They said like 10, 15 minutes. So, yeah, so we're just sitting here hanging out. We are in the front row of tables so we are just like a, a stone throw away from the stage which is freaking awesome and so i am just ooh, i'm just so excited so excited but yeah i i never did finish telling you guys um um i probably can't tell you guys because there's music playing in the background but i'll tell you guys later about my kind of sort of wardrobe malfunction that i had to change my you know um my uh, foot gear at the last minute because of, you know, because of what it was. It's time to break through. Please welcome your host for today, Dr. Jillian Palmer. Everybody wants the riches. This is a day we all look forward to, and this year's event promises to be another incredible WLC. I've attended the Women's Leadership Conference many, many times. Good morning, Springfield! Good morning! Spring has sprung, can you tell? No, yeah. no, not at all. How are the mimosas? <laughs> oh, you didn't get a mimosa? Who's up for an adventure? Our opening speaker most certainly is Liz Need travels the globe seeking challenges and ways we can learn more, communicate better, and build a more diverse, inclusive world. Liz Need. Everybody wants a riches. I always feel proud after getting a chance to speak. I feel calm when I'm doing it. Now, I used to, like I had the shaky voice and I would be a little, I would shake a little and stress out. It's not happening. Because in general, I feel calm when I'm in my place of inspiration. Like my favorite thing. And the hard parts feel worth it. Like there are parts of my business I don't love, but I, like I, I think I have to write these LinkedIn articles. I think they're very good to do. And it's not my favorite thing, but I feel driven. And instead of comparing, you know, we do the social media thing and we compare ourselves to other people. I do it. I compare vacations and how they decorate their house and how much money they make and how happy their marriage is. I'm insufferable. Mm -hmm. And then I compare that to me and I'm like, I'm never going to get there. Right, it's depressing. That. But you shouldn't do that because the thing that is unique is the person who's putting the stuff out there. The life that is making the social media go, that is what is worth living for. It is unique and special and needed by everyone else. When I gave into it and said, you know what? Those teachers were wrong. I need to inspire. That is what the world needs from me. That was a good day. Because you know what? I have not run out of jobs. There is always an inspiration job to be had. All I have to do is sit next to a human and give it time and 
we will find a reason for inspiration to take hold. All right, I gotta tell you my personal story. So I have my best friend, her name is Molly, and she is so different from me. So first of all, I'd like to say thank you so much to the co-worker who was recording this, um, and I didn't even know it until I sat down and she said she uh, got the footage for me. But unfortunately, the audio, you could not really understand what I was saying. So basically, after each keynote speaker, the audience had an opportunity to ask questions, and Miss Liz Need has her own YouTube channel. So basically I was just asking her when is the next time that she was going to upload a new video because she is an inspirational speaker and she does have a uh, good content. So that's basically what I was asking her. And she replied in saying that she was going to uh, upload a video that next day. I did it every week, did you see? I posted every week and then the incident happened and I just, it's exhausting. <laughs> but thank you for asking. Thank you for asking. I will do it tomorrow. <laughs> In this line, me and my co-worker, one of my co-workers, we in this line to pay, and then we got to get in the line, you know, to get an autograph from uh, Miss Liz Mead. So this line, line kind of long. Then the autograph line is kind of long too. But I don't know. But I'm, I'm, I got one of her books. Um, you know, I'm not really a reader, but. I, you know, I, I felt compelled to get her book because she's really an excellent inspirational speaker. Um, I really enjoyed her talk. And so, you know, I was, <laughs> look at this hair, I was compelled to, you know, receive more inspiration from her. 
And this is a once in a lifetime opportunity for me, I think, because it's my first time here at the conference. It's my first time being able to see her speak and hear her speak. And let alone, she has a book, which she says she's working on three more books. But, and you know, it's an opportunity for me to get an autograph from her to sign her book. So it's like, uh, kind of, yes, I'm going to take full advantage. So, but yeah, it's been fun so far. It is wall to wall people here. You know, you have some alum, alumni that have uh, come that have been coming 27 years, but they've been doing this for a long time, and uh, my president and CEO is an alumnus, so, uh, you know, she's been coming, and other co-workers, they have been coming. But yeah, so this is my first time, as I stated. I haven't been really, really, uh, really talking to you guys that much, because we just came out of a breakout session, and so I think we're getting ready to have a lunch after this and then this afternoon I think that oh this is right there I think that um, right after lunch we have our other breakout session so here she is right here here she is right there and she's signing books a fan of signing the books so hopefully, hopefully I can get a picture that would be that would be even you know that would be great I hope I can but we'll see what happens but let me um, get, you know, my, uh, let me pay for my book and I'll see what happens with a picture. into our Business Leaders Hall of Fame. And also, this award really makes me think about all the women that have helped me along the way. Oh, that made me emotional just to think about. But I would not even be standing up here on stage today if it wasn't for all the women who supported me, who collaborated with me, who believed in me, and just who were there for me, and all the women who kind of directly and indirectly supported me because they went ahead of me. So for me, what this award stands for is women supporting women, and that's exactly why we're here today, because when one woman rises, everybody rises with them, and, um, and I'm excited to just be a part of this today. So I'm also excited to be your lunchtime speaker as well. And now, I'm gonna step back so you can see the full picture. Everything I've done in my life has been one long attempt to show the world that I'm not stupid. So I'm driven. She is the quintessential real estate guru and one of the stars, of course, of ABC's Shark Tank. People have to realize you can become who you want to be. I love the fact that I was in charge. But did you ever dream that you'd be a TV star? Never. Tonight on Shark Tank.
do if I could make a success in my life? Anybody could. Please welcome Barbara Corcoran. Thank you everybody for the little clapping at the knock. <laughs> Woo! Right? So thank you so much for being here. Um, we've really enjoyed, you know, briefing ourselves, watching your Shark Tank videos, just watching everything about your life. So if we could just go back a few years um, and start with your mom. You talk about your mom as being one of those people that inspired you. Can you tell a little bit about what that means to you and what that looked like? Of course, I could talk about my mom forever. She's my favorite. Uh, my mom was a powerhouse. She was a full-time housewife, which most people wouldn't think of as a powerhouse, but she was. She ran our house like a boot camp. I know that. She should have been a general in the army, honestly. <laughs> she raised her 10 kids, picture it, in a two-bedroom flat with one bathroom. And we all learned to be competitive. All right, everybody. So. I went, I came, I saw, and <laughs> it was the best event. It was great. It was very uplifting, inspiring, and motivating. It was, you know, just excellent. All of the uh, keynote speakers were excellent. We had two breakout sessions with uh, speakers as well, um, you know, doing their part. Um, Breakfast was served, lunch was served, afternoon uh, snack and coffee was served. And so, you know, I know I didn't get to get a chance to talk to you guys a lot. Um, you know, I was in the moment, I was trying to enjoy myself and you know, I, I you know, got what I got because you know, I wanted to be um, present and there and in, in, in the moment and you know, just, present you know because it was a great event I hope um, that I get a chance to go next year next year it is going to be on April 3rd 2025 if all you know goes well so mark your calendars it's a countdown to the day for third of next year for the um, 28th annual uh, Bay Path Women's uh, Leadership Conference. And so I just wanna say thank you again to uh, my president and CEO for sending me the invite. I really, I really, 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 really appreciate that from her. And you know, um, it, was, it, it was just great. They, I mean, uh, the vendors, oh my God, they had vendors on both floors because it was you know upstairs and downstairs it was vendors oh my god it was just there was just vendors all over the place i didn't get a chance to go see all of them because it was just a whole lot you know they were selling you know all different types of things they were selling books stuffed animals uh jewelry clothing shoes uh handmade clothing uh crocheted stuff uh soap uh, um, food, it was, it was excellent. It was freaking excellent. And I did purchase, well, I purchased two things. I got, um, and, and so the uh, Liz Need, the very first speaker, she wrote a book. She's working on, I think I mentioned earlier, she's working on, um, you know, another book or three or something like that. But I bought her book. And let me see, let me show you. Let me show you the book. Well, I got you here in the cab with me because I'm getting ready to go home. And so here's the book right here. And the name of the book is called, is titled what you see here. It says the, it says the, how to stop wasting time 1440 and make the most of your life principle written by Liz Need. This is beautiful and it was very reasonably priced. Granted, I am not, usually I am not like a big reader, you know what I mean? However, the book, it's not, it's not that thick at all, you know? And so, and, 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 you know, she, 
she she spoke to me she struck me you know what i mean she struck a chord in me as far as her uh motivational speaking uh what, what she did today and uh before uh when i found out that she was one of you know the guest speakers the keynote speakers it gives you like a short synopsis and a little biography of what they have going on what they did what they're doing and all of that so she has her own youtube channel granted she hasn't uploaded in like eight months however she does have videos uh out there and i went over to check her out and I loved her content. And so, you know, I was, I'm not sure if I was able to um, uh, show you guys the, uh, the video uh, footage, the video clip of me asking her, you know, a question or whatever, because after each keynote speaker, there it was an opportunity for everyone to go to an open mic to ask any questions that they, they that they had i was the last person to ask a question when it was uh you know her turn after her turn to speak and so i just plainly asked her i said you know it's i went over i looked at your youtube channel and it's been a minute since you've uploaded a video when when are you going to be uploading again <laughs> And so it was just the funniest thing, you know, it was great. She said she actually got inspired by me asking her that question. And she said, you know what? I'm going to, I'm going to upload a video tomorrow. I said, all right, everybody y'all hear her. Y'all heard her, right? <laughs> and then she said, you know what? You inspire me by you asking me, me that question. So I'm going to be sure to upload a video tomorrow. So Tomorrow is uh, Friday, so I hope that she can, you know, because, you know, she has a husband, she has a family, she has a home and, you know, career and all of that. So it's like, it could be hard, you know, I, I'm here to tell you, it could be hard. So I was just trying to more or less encourage her to do what she can when she can, you know, when she can do it as far as uploading any, any, any uh, content. Cause you know, I enjoy her content. So that was uh, one purchase. You know, I, you know, when you ain't got it, you ain't got it. I'm not trying to live above my means, but there was a lot of nice jewelry and everything else there. A little bit on the expensive side, but I got me, I got this. Hold on, I'm gonna show you what I did get. Aside from the book, I'll um, show you this. Oh. Uh, where is it? Oh, here it is. Okay. So I have been, I have been looking for, you know, I just haven't like talked a lot about trying to find one, but I know I'm going to get more than this one that I have. But I have been looking for a jean purse forever. There's multitude of different styles shapes colors and sizes I realize that but you know I have a limit to how much I'm going to spend on whatever I buy so I picked up this little baby I love this purse I love this purse look at this purse it is beautiful it is beautiful and it is a clutch it is a clutch now it does have places here as you can see here and there's one on the other side here uh, it does have a place for um, a strap which there was no strap here with the purse however I have a little gold strap at home that you know I can you know deal with if I chose to do so however you know I do not do you know uh, cross body too much so boom I'm trying to get, trying to show you guys the best I can so yeah I got this little number so yes 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 I am proud of my purchase and it was reasonably priced um, so yeah, I want to show you guys that there were, you know, a couple of little doodads here and there that, um, 
you know, uh, they were giving away for free, you know, toothbrush, hand sanitizer, little cup holder to or a can holder that you can keep your coffee hot or your beverage cold, you know, little things like that. And, you know, a couple of uh, raffle entries. And so hopefully, uh, you know, I'll win one, but they already announced one. I was not the winner. But uh, yeah, Yankee Candle is uh, doing a raffle. I hope I win something from them. But if not, that's fine. Um, you know, congratulations to whoever the winner is. And so, yeah, I just had a blast. I had a blast. I hope that you guys have enjoyed this video. I am getting ready to go home. It is rainy, cold, damp, and just mm, not too good today. But uh, oh, oh, oh. So, lastly, I don't think that I got a chance to tell you guys about my um, wardrobe deal. So, originally, I was supposed to, I wanted to wear my dark brown uh, shoe dazzle boots, the one with the ones with the thick heel or whatever. And, you know, they come up on the, you know, they come up like almost to the knee. So I wanted to wear those, but however, the bottom of my pants, they were cut slimmer and closer to my um, ankles. So when I put the brown boots on this morning, I lifted up the pants. The pants would only go maybe halfway up the calf. So therefore I could not put the pants over the boots you know, the, the leg part of the boots. So I had to, uh, you know, go for my uh, Chuck Taylors, which I'm glad that I did. They matched fine, you know, I, I and they were very comfortable because I had to walk from, you know, MGM parking lot to Mass Mutual Center. But anyway, yeah, that was my little wardrobe thing. Cause it's like, oh my God, no, no, no. I gotta get out of here. What am I gonna do? <laughs> but yeah, but anyway, that's it. That's all. I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. Um, don't forget to like, comment, share, and uh, subscribe. Follow your girl on social media, though. And I will see you guys in the next one. And like I always say, let's talk. <laughs>